No! <laughs> Damn it! I can't find my colored contacts. Damn it! I think I left it in Florida. Oh! <laughs> oh yeah. I got a neck tattoo. It's an angel with a broken wing. She's obviously sad, feeling low, in the clouds, in the sky, with white doves flying towards her. The doves represent peace and clarity, and they're there to help her. What y'all think about it? I told you guys I was gonna get it, I wasn't playing. So it's in the healing process, obviously. I got this done a couple days ago, so it's gonna take a while, but it's gonna be healed. Yeah, and my color contacts, they're gone. But I did order some new ones. They're gonna come in in a couple weeks, you know. I got my prescription ones on. Because I cannot see the screen without my vision. Can't wear my glasses because the lighting is gonna put a glare on them. And I ain't trying to annoy you guys. I'm not trying to distract you guys neither. So, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and watch a video. What y'all think? Oh, no, no, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Guess what, guys? No, I'm gonna show y'all. Check that out. Congratulations, your YouTube channel, Bliss Uncensored, has been accepted into the YouTube Partner Program and is now able to monetize on YouTube. We did it. We motherfucking did it. Okay, first of all, we reached a thousand subscribers, right? But I had to be approved and YouTube fucking approved me. Thanks to all of you guys and I'm glad they approved me, I was nervous about my swearing. But I can fucking swear if I fucking want to, okay? But I need to calm that down a little bit, just a little bit. But I do have a question, you guys, and I hope you guys can answer this. I'm looking at my analytics. Let me tell you what my audience is. Because we're a team here, it's not just me. So I want you guys to know what's going on with our channel. Can you, can y'all explain this part, please? Please explain this. Watch time from subscribers, listen. 71% of my viewers are not subscribed to my to my channel. <laughs> and 28% of my subscribers are watching me. Why, you guys? You guys subscribe to my channel for a reason. Watch my videos. If you guys are not getting notified, check into my channel every now and then. If you see a new video, click onto it. Watch my vids, you know? You liked me for a reason, right? And to the people who have not been subscribing to me but still watch my videos, why is that? Can y'all give me a reason, please? Age and gender, female, 72%, 27% male. And my audience ranges between 18 to 34, which is awesome. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that because I feel like you guys should know exactly where our channel's at. And I appreciate every single one of you, okay? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and watch this video because <laughs> I know I was talking, but I'm so happy. Can't you tell? I have so much energy. I'm so excited. I'm just happy, y'all. Okay, so we're gonna watch Drama Alert. He uploaded a video called Romeo Lacoste versus Keemstar. $3.5 million lawsuit response. Oh, hell no. So we're gonna go ahead and watch and see what's going on with this lawsuit. Are y'all ready? Because I sure as hell am. By the way, comment below, let me know what you think about my neck tattoo. Y'all like it? Y'all like it on me? What y'all think? Be honest, tell me the truth. It's permanent anyways. I like it anyways. But I still, I still wanna know your opinion. All right, so let's go ahead and watch. I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into, into the news. news. Finally, I have been cleared by my attorneys to talk about this $3.5 million lawsuit from Romeo. But before we get... Look at him. Tatted up like a moth. I believe he is known to be a popular and famous tattoo artist. A lot of celebrities get their work done by him. And he's got a baby face. Still does not give you an excuse to be dating these little girls. What's wrong with you, boy? Before we get into that first, I need to tell you about this huge announcement of this project that I've been working on behind the scenes for months and months and months. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and skip whatever he's trying to promote. Okay, it is time I'm gonna explain everything to you on how I got sued for $3.5 million Damn. from the most notorious tattoo artist, Romeo Lacrosse. It started exactly a year ago 
when I uploaded this video titled Ariana Grande, Dolan Twins, Ninja, and Moore's Tattoo Artist, Romeo Lacrosse Exposed. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Romeo has given tattoos to everyone who's been popular. And because of that, he blew up his own social media and he had a channel on YouTube with over a million subscribers. Wow. Not so much anymore after this story came out. Oh, yes? Yeah? He was saying this stuff allegedly to underage girls. Roll it. These girls are underage, and he's asking them if they want to do it, like, when they turn 18, or do it sooner. But trust me, ladies and gentlemen, it gets way worse. Let's read that message. You're not down to do it sooner, or you want to wait till you're 18. Are you kidding me? So you know this girl is not 18. But yet, you're still down to do something with her. That's crazy. ...than this, because he goes on to say stuff like this. Love that. Love my balls massaged and sucked up. Love my toe licked. And my favorite is deep throat. Drunk girls always deep throat further. So, you like to fuck with young girls, little girls, and drunk girls. What What is wrong with you? You're a good-looking guy. You know so many people. You are well-known. What, what sparks your interest with drunk girls and little girls? It's power, right? You want to feel powerful. You want to feel like you're in control of things. That's just nasty. Nasty. Ha ha ha. Yup. And I'd have a shot waiting for you when you got See here. That? What? The actual... Yikes! Now that is what the girl said. But uh, you know me, I'm Mr. Fair and Balanced, so I wanted to give Romeo a chance to defend himself, so I had him on Drum Alert for an interview. Oh. And well, it didn't go so well for him. Oh, hold on, I did not see this interview. Let me let me listen to this real quick. Here's a clip of that, roll it. Well, like, okay, uh, well here's the thing. In the conversation uh, that you had with the alleged girls, um, there's a part where you say, um, you know, are you willing to do it before uh, yes. you turn 18? Yes, so let me address that. So that, I'm not gonna deny that was real, but but this is why I feel like somewhat of a victim and somewhat like they trap, like these kids come on here trying to trap celebrities because they they didn't tell me that. They told me 17, but then they're gonna cut off that, they're gonna cut off that, that, that comment, that, that DM okay. that said. Dude, ugh, you, you, you know you sound dumb. You sound like a teenager. That's probably why you're into teenagers. Your mentality is not a grown-ass man. You, you are saying that these kids are trapping you. How is that entrapment if they're telling you their age? That's you manipulating these kids and trying to manipulate everyone else. Look at you, now you're claiming to be victim. You're using the word victim for yourself. So they told you 17. I'm going to give you the benefit wow. of the doubt. You still told the 17 year old that, you know, all this crazy shit. Okay. Okay. Um. Yikes! Times two! Now, after that interview, Romeo's, like, online career didn't do so well, okay? People kind of stopped going to get tattoos from Damn. him. And, um, Good. you know, I think a lot of that has to do with. You, bro! You! <laughs> but anyhow, that happened a year ago. You know, people kind of forgot this whole thing. And the whole Romeo story kind of, you know, went away. But then, last month, Another I was girl. by a 15-year-old girl who said that she had proof that Romeo was having conversations with her and being inappropriate. Keep in mind, according to famous birthdays, Romeo is 31 years old. This girl that contacted me just turned 16 and was at 15 years old at the time. So I had her on for an interview and this. You are nasty. And let me tell you why, why you're nasty. I can't even imagine this. I am 35 years old. My, my stepdaughter is 17. She's gonna be 18 in May. I can never see myself hitting on a little girl her age. There's something wrong with you, guy. And anybody who gets tatted by him after knowing all this, you are supporting a pedophile. I'm just putting it out there. And I gotta put allegedly, because there's not proof that he actually is doing something with them necessarily, because these are all just messages and through social media and 
who knows if he actually met up with these girls, if he actually did something physically. But I wonder if this is also considered a crime, um, messaging these kids. I don't know. Is what she said. But not just what she said. She showed me proof. Roll. Two phones. Okay, let me watch this again. A 15-year-old girl. He has two phones, and obviously he's showing you a picture of his dick on one phone to the other phone during FaceTime. And actually, yeah. if you watch it, you can tell this is real. Look at him. Because Look as soon face. as he switches off he shows his that face. other phone, the glare on your forehead, like the light, goes away from him pulling the phone away. Yeah. A 15 year old. I, I just, I just, I, 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 I. And he, he knows just how old she is. this guy. How? How? Because he's sick. How could you be so dumb, Romeo? How could you be so dumb? He's sick. He's sick. No, there's nothing that anyone can do to make him stop. So that's why he needs to be locked up. So, anyhow, we did that interview. I reported this story. I didn't think anything of it. I mean, uh, I mean, it's just apparent with both of these cases that uh, Romeo. Uh, well, I, I will, I won't finish that sentence. But anyhow, Romeo did not like that new drumler. In fact, he went to go get an attorney, and he sent me a letter. That's right. Romeo's attorney sent me a cease and desist letter, basically Defamation. saying that I have to remove every single video about Romeo off a of drumler. Remove my videos. Why? What did I do? I responded to Romeo via Twitter. Dear Romeo Lacoste or Lacoste or however <laughs> you say your name, um, I just got, my attorney just hit me up and said that he got a cease and desist letter from your attorney saying that, like, we need to remove the drama or videos about you because it's direct slander. And if we don't remove those videos, that you're going to sue us, okay? Sue me! I'm not removing that. Are you insane, Romeo? Did you really think that you were going to hit your attorney up, he was going to send me this letter, and I was going to delete all this proof and all this stuff about you? Are you insane? Are you insane? No. Sue me. Sue me. Let's make it a public And he record, does. Right? Let's <laughs> he sues him. Let's put all these facts out in front of the judge. Honestly, you're insane because now I was going to work on another story. Now I'm going to work on nothing but you. All right? Good. We're going to do Romeo Lacrosse content for a goddamn month just for sending me that goddamn letter, you idiot. Are you dumb? What, you have this attorney and you think like you have some type of power? I got an army of attorneys. And there you have it. I thought that there would be no way that Romeo would move forward, but I was wrong. A couple weeks <laughs> later, he filed in federal court Can you believe a that? lawsuit against me for $3.5 million. So I, I have a feeling it's gonna be dismissed. And it's so complicated too. The proof is in the pudding. It's all out there. Messages, real messages happening. And he could probably have these girls as witnesses as well. But when it comes to court and the laws, it's like there's loopholes that you can get into. And who fucking knows? It's so complicated, who knows? He might win that money, I don't know. He was just putting all the facts out there and stating his opinion, which we're, we are allowed to do. I don't know if you guys know this, but there are a bunch of attorneys on social media that are content creators themselves. And they make mm. content talking about different lawsuits and stuff going on. And, you know, because they're lawyers, they can give viewers an educated, you know, understanding of what's going on. And some of those attorneys have responded to me being sued for $3.5 okay, million. Let's hear them. Very popular attorneys known as the Pot Brothers at Law went viral after uploading this video explaining to Shut the F up. They responded to me being sued for $3.5 million by saying this. Roll. Mark That's Green, Pop Brothers at Law, with a little lesson about shutting the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, one of our followers told me to go check out Keemstar or Drama Alert and check out this lawsuit where someone said something which uh, we looked into and it's a reason why you shut the fuck up and even on paper. It doesn't necessarily have to be through your mouth on paper. This lawsuit here. Uh -oh. uh, star, uh, it's Lacoste versus Keemstar, and it's about some predatory conduct on behalf of the plaintiff, but the plaintiff is suing drum, uh, Drama Alert, and in the complaint, he admits the recording was made by the individual whose plaintiff was engaging in a sexually charged conversation 
Then he goes on to say the individual was a minor. Oh my God, are you serious? What a dumbass. Oh, he's so dumb. Who's your attorney? Who is your attorney? What attorney would allow you to put the word minor in that paper admitting that you were talking to a minor? You, you are admitting to these allegations. Oh, who is your attorney? You better fire that person quick because there's probably going to be charges against you now. Wait, he wrote that in he his own that in there. That's crazy. He wrote that it was sexually charged and with a minor. With a minor. That's now, crazy. This is the time that you shut the fuck up on paper, <laughs> off of paper. You shut the fuck up. It's just sad. <laughs> I like these guys. I'm going to have to find them after this. Okay, they're attorneys, but but they're cool, though. They're cool. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous, and that's the fucking tip of the day. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Another online attorney known as Via Frey uploaded a video titled Keemstar sued for $3.5 million. When it comes to Keemstar calling Nico the big P, it is either factually correct based on the evidence or it is a statement of opinion, in which case it can't be defamatory. And as we have just seen in the Unsworth versus Elon Musk lawsuit, which was a defamation lawsuit based on the exact same accusation, Unsworth failed in that lawsuit. So while it seems that the underlying tort to which Nico is alluding would be defamation, we know that he would fail on that claim. And so it's not even clear what the underlying tort to the interference with prospective economic advantage would be to justify that claim. Simply put, if stating a fact harms someone else's business, they do not have recourse against you for stating that fact. And it's a fact. It's a fact. Known as Rakita Law, he's an attorney as well, uploaded a video titled Keemster Sued for $3.5 million for calling a gentleman a P word. On February 10th of 2020, defendant, that's Keemstar, publicized a video recording of a conversation. Plaintiff was engaging in conversations. Uh, in conversation of a conversation plaintiff was engaging in conversations of a sexual nature and an interview with the recording's creator. Okay. This recording was made by the individual with which plaintiff was engaging in the sexually charged conversation. This individual was a minor. Hereafter known as Person A. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Look, Keemstar made public a video of me having a sexually charged conversation with a minor. And then he called me a... Oh, what? How dare he? <laughs> Come on. Come on. You wrote that. Well, your attorney wrote that down. You chose to put that in the time. So that's some fellow attorney's thoughts on the situation. And now I want to give you my wow. official response to being sued. I am Keemstar. All right. I am Daniel Keem. I am Drum Alert. I am the person that is being sued for $3.5 million. Now, it's never fun to be named in a lawsuit. But let's take a moment to examine who exactly sued me and for what and if it's right or even okay. I am being sued by the notorious tattoo artist, Romeo Lacrosse, and he is saying, due to what you've seen on my program, that I have injured his future earnings and his earnings and his career. He did it to himself. I call bullshit. And here's a few reasons why. Let's start with this one. I live in the United States of America. Okay. And we have this little Freedom thing of speech. called the Bill of Rights. And what's in the Bill of Rights? The First Amendment. I challenge some of you to travel outside the United States. They don't have the privileges that we have. Uh, the government can punish you and even jail you for saying things they don't like, uh, but not here. Uh, in this United States, we have the freedom of speech. You have- And this is what this channel is about. Bliss Uncensored. I'm gonna say whatever the hell I wanna say, and I encourage others to always speak their mind. Of that right, I have that right, and I intend to exercise my right of freedom of speech always. Always. So what exactly does the First Amendment say about free speech? It says that Congress cannot abridge the freedom of speech or of the press. And that includes lawsuits like the one Romeo filed on me, which would try to discourage citizens and journalists from exercising their free speech rights. What exactly is Romeo attempting to do with this lawsuit? <laughs> Shut me up. Because he doesn't like the truth of what I have been saying. 
He doesn't like the truth of what I've been saying. On February 10th, I talked about the attempts of Romeo to hook up with a young woman. I interviewed that young woman with the permission of her guardian. Mm -hmm. And what appeared on that video that I broadcast it right here on Drum Alert? Let me remind you, roll it. He's showing you a picture. It's of him. His dick on one phone to the other phone during FaceTime. I am proud of that broadcast. I report the news. Who was responsible? And I contribute to an important dialogue of adults preying on children. Mm. If the result of my broadcast stopped underage individuals from interacting and being preyed on by adults, then I deem that as a good thing. Okay. On this lawsuit, I plan on winning. And I see this as a teachable moment for the free speech rights we have in this country. If you would like to help me fight this lawsuit, just simply subscribe, watch my program, support the content that we put out. But you know? if you want to go above and beyond, you can buy a Drommler t-shirt or a hoodie. It's Those facts. links are in the description. God bless every single one of my fans, and God bless the United States of America. <laughs> and that's how he ends it. Good for you, Kim. He spoke nothing but the facts. He showed messages, videos, even had an interview with him, him admitting that, that those were real messages. And even on the damn paperwork, admitting that he was speaking sexually with a minor. You're not gonna win the case. You need to be jailed, because you're not gonna stop. You are a predator. And I'm just going off of facts that have been shown. Let me still put it out there that these were allegations, even though they're real facts. <laughs> I don't even know if I should use the word allegation in there, because these are facts. All right, you guys, tell me what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. I don't want you guys to miss a single thing. I want 100% from my subscribers to watch my videos. All right, you guys, see you in the next video. Peace.